Hi guys and girls, it's Real Carl here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I hope you enjoy. This is the fourth video on the Masters of Flight series ships that they announced and this is the Hornet Wildfire. This is the fourth ship and the other videos I made previously will be uh, popping up throughout the video and links in the description below as well. So let's get straight to it. The Hornet Wildfire is created as Masters of, Part of, uh, Masters of Flight series in conjunction with the Flight Sim Arena Commander. The wildfire pays tribute to famed pilot Aria Riley for her distinguished service with the legendary Squadron 42. Um, as we go down to the spec page, you'll see on the key technical information and propulsion overview, similar to the variants that I've made in the previous videos, they're all exactly the same. Uh, as you can see, there's only one difference regard to this. I'm comparing the Super Hornet to the left, and the right hand side is the Hornet Wildfire. The left's focus is space superiority. The focus on the Hornet Wildfire is civilian close support. Uh, the length is somewhat one meter shorter, but again, this is all from the website. Uh, can't take this as uh, serious because the website can be uh, wrong in some aspects. The mass is also different, and also the max crew is two persons in the Super Hornet for the turret and one person in the Hornet Wildfire. Also, if note that the cargo capacity is zero in the Super Hornet. And the Hornet Wildfire is 13. So it looks like you can put cargo in there, similar to the other uh, variants of the Hornets, mainly the F7. So let's move down to the hardpoint overview. Straight away, you can see there's some notable difference. On the Super Hornet, you can see uh, gimbal mounts at two size four, same as the other side, the Wildfire. The pylon mounts, there's two si uh, four size ones on each side, so you get eight in total with the size ones. And same again for the Wildfire. But you also additionally get, uh, I believe, uh, doesn't say how many you get there, but I'm going to assume there's two size two missiles uh, added on to the firestorm, meaning you'll have more missile firepower. The unmanned turrets, uh, you can see here, there's one for the bulldogs that is actually the on the super hornet. That will be the nose uh, cannon there. Um, but the actual on the turret, which is on the top of the actual ship, is two tanned badges. In the civilian variants, it looks like you can still have cargo. Again, it could be a typo, but it looks like you can have cargo, as well as a turret on top, which will be two times M4A lasers. Uh, poly is a typo, that means the cargo capacity is actually zero if you have a turret, but vice versa, if you don't have a turret, you'll have cargo. Uh, this is the best ship to actually pay for from the specs. As I say, this can be a typo or even error, or you know, it could be also true. Um, the cargo capacity as well as the turret included as well as more missiles this seems like the more appropriate ship for a ship upgrade between all the four variants and um, there is a little slight difference guard to price and that will change due in time but yes uh, the hornet wildfire does definitely get my thumbs up for a upgrade if uh, you're interested to upgrade to a different type of hornet so what are the comments about this ship or any other uh, variants that you've seen uh, comment below and I'll get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.